hello i'm so happy that you're here so yeah let's get into it i have been trying to get better at guessing in europe because you know that there are just so many countries that look very similar so i'm trying to learn all i can i was exploring like hmm, maybe learning these chevrons could be useful and helpful um I will report back and say that like kind of <laughs> I've there's definitely been a few rounds that have saved me like knowing now that like Italy and Greece have a black chevron where Turkey is red and white like that definitely is super helpful to remember but I think it can't hurt to know so with that being said let's get into it and play a little bit of GeoGuessr see if I can explain some of these um yeah so here we are. I also tried to include like other little clues to help you remember. So like we have these, this architecture plus this waffles, <laughs> this waffle style pole and this little like Portugal style bollard. So you can know that you're in Portugal. They use this yellow and black chevron and that's, hey, I mean, that's helpful to know because in Spain they use black and white or like I think also blue and blue and white too so here we are in um Austria this one's kind of iconic to me because only like Austria and Montenegro use this yellow and red color and in I have never in my entire life seen a chevron <laughs> in Montenegro so you know you can also just you can also just think about that um, here we are. This is another like very iconic one. We can tell like by the language too. And then this is like Sweden's national colors, right? Like the blue and the gold. Um, that's kind of like a helpful way to remember that. Again, um, yeah, I don't know. How, I don't know if I've ever actually seen that. So you, I really had to look for it. This, I mean, I am just recognizing because I made this map, but this is Iceland. They use black and yellow just like Portugal. And the same as Norway, Finland, and uh, Ireland as well. Or is it the UK? I forget. We're going to remember. We will find out. And then here we are in France. You can see this like classic French style bollard. And then also they use this blue and white chevron. So somewhere be, <laughs> be somewhere in France. Okay, continuing on. Oh yeah, let's let's just keep it moving and hopefully we can like get some ones that I haven't been able to show. So you can see the white birch trees plus the black and yellow. You know you're going to be in Finland. I remember it's pretty up high. Um, and then here, this is Estonia. Um, this is kind of helpful maybe to remember. I, so like in those Baltic countries, Estonia is going to use a red with white arrows where lithuania and latvia's chevron is white with red arrows like maybe i'll i don't know you just it's more red the other two are more white so i mean who knows here we are in the uk yep we have dot uk and they use this black and white so then that means that ireland is the one that's um, black and yellow keeping it moving here we are in Norway I just remember this location very hard to find these chevrons uh by the way so yeah another place where I'm not super sure how often you're gonna see it but there you have it um keeping it moving this is like probably Ukraine like Ukraine and Russia also use that like red with the white um so it's mostly red with Ukraine and Russia and Estonia and Hungary all of these other countries pretty much right here including Denmark I forget about these two um use white with a red whatever so com like so like um hopefully that makes sense let's go through it one more time why not so here we are in this is particularly helpful to me this is kind of where I said it was like the most helpful to me um was in like okay you see this dry landscape and you're thinking could it be Italy could it be Greece like I mean I know you have this little sign over here too but um yeah you're just gonna only see this red and white with that dry landscape 
in if you're in Europe in Turkey. So there you have it. Um, and then here we are actually in Luxembourg. They use this yellow and black as well, but you're also going to see the yellow plate in the front and in the back, right? I'm pretty sure. So going somewhere there. All right. I mean, I think this is Switzerland, black and white for Switzerland, although a million other things should tell you you're in Switzerland before <laughs> the Chevron, but whatever. Here we are in Estonia again again um keep it moving um and then this is going to be poland which i remember if you spin around if you're kind of forgetting there's dot pl over there um and also just remember like uh hmm i don't know for some reason for me like hungary and poland sometimes i'm i'm getting confused and i just like to know like anything i can to be able to tell those two countries apart Oh, let's go through again. Why not? So this is Lithuania. Like I said, it's white with the red. Um, and I also actually believe this might be a thing that in Lithuania, there's like a little border around the chevron. And then, of course, you're going to see this style of bollard too with the orange inside. So that can kind of help you remember. Here we are keeping it moving. Here we are in Italy. I don't know if that actually came up already or not, but black and white. Portugal again. And yeah, I think we can just race through these last that we've seen a billion times. And oh, I mean, this is kind of a unique one. Serbia, right? Like it's white with black. Um, and just looks a little bit different. But again, never seen that in real life. One second and I will show you anything that didn't come up. Okay, so actually almost everything came up besides Montenegro. I have never seen this before. Just, I don't know if it came up actually. Um, maybe it did in like the beginning of this video. I just forget, but here it is again. And then the landscape in the background, right? Like those types of rocks, super like Montenegro um so yeah i've and i think they also maybe use black and white they also use but i've just never even come across them but i thought it was kind of interesting to include okay i think that that is going to be it for the video just a quick little video to pop in here and say like i don't know i made this map i learned some of these things like kind of helpful kind of not but yeah like let me know what you think let me know if this is helpful i'll put the link to this map in the description of course and that's it